Today, we're exploring the resilience of the U.S. economy, a puzzle that's been baffling economists and investors worldwide. As we unravel this mystery, we'll delve into the intriguing perspective of billionaire investor Ray Dalio. His unique take, coined as the Great Wealth Transfer, may just hold the answers we seek. Keep watching until the end of the video to see how the U.S. government could be spiraling into an ominous debt crisis. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. In the world of investing, few names resonate with as much authority and reverence as that of Ray Dalio. The founder of Bridgewater Associates, the world's largest hedge fund, Dalio's journey from a modest apartment in Queens, New York, to the echelons of Wall Street royalty is one of tenacity, foresight, and relentless pursuit of understanding the economic machinery. His insights and theories are not mere speculations. They're backed by decades of meticulous research and real-world application. Dalio, often regarded as a philosopher-investor, is known for his principles-based approach to life and investing. His holistic view of the financial world allows him to perceive patterns and shifts that many might overlook. As we venture into the heart of the U.S. economic puzzle, it's this unique perspective of Dalio's that we'll lean on, a perspective shaped by years of experience, rigorous analysis, and a genuine passion for understanding the intricate dance of economic forces. In the vast lexicon of financial terminologies, Dalio introduced a phrase that, in recent times, has garnered significant attention, the great wealth transfer. But what does this term truly encapsulate? In essence, Dalio's theory shines a light on an orchestrated movement of wealth, one that's been subtly transforming the financial landscape beneath our feet. According to Dalio, the government, in its grand economic play, has engineered a monumental shift of assets. The beneficiaries, the private sector, which includes both households and businesses. This move, Dalio posits, has created a buffer, shielding the private sector from the Federal Reserve's aggressive monetary policies. While government debt soared and central banks churned out more money, leading to their balance sheets taking a hit, the private sector emerged relatively unscathed. However, this isn't just a tale of a financial sleight of hand. Dalio's theory underscores a delicate balancing act. On one side, the government's deteriorating balance sheet. On the other, a private sector whose foundations have been fortified. But at what cost? And for how long can this equilibrium hold? As we probe deeper, it's crucial to grasp the implications and consequences of this great wealth transfer. It's not just about numbers and balance sheets. It's a story of economic strategies, future repercussions, and the intricate choreography of wealth in the world's leading economy. Every coin, as they say, has two sides, and the great wealth transfer is no exception. On one hand, we witness a prosperous private sector, buoyed by this monumental transfer of wealth. Households and businesses have seen a rise in their net worth, even in the face of tumultuous stock and bond markets. The injection of wealth into the private sector has indeed brought about a level of financial fortitude that's commendable. Yet on the flip side lies a contrasting narrative. The government, in its endeavor to bolster the private sector, has taken on an immense burden. The ever-growing government debt and the central bank's decision to print more money has put their financial health in jeopardy. This strategy, while advantageous to the private sector in the short run, raises questions about long-term sustainability. Can the government continue to support such a transfer without severe repercussions? Dalio's insight offers a sobering reminder. No financial maneuver is without its consequences. While the private sector currently reaps the benefits, the looming shadow of the government's strained finances can't be ignored. This duality, the boon of a fortified private sector and the bane of a stressed government, is at the very heart of Dalio's great wealth transfer. As we unpack this further, we're reminded that in the intricate dance of economics, every step forward might also come with a potential step back. Ray Dalio, with his decades of experience and astute market sense, isn't one to ring alarm bells without reason. Amidst his observations on the great wealth transfer lies a stark warning, one that concerns the very fabric of the U.S. financial infrastructure, the impending debt spiral. To understand this, one needs to look beyond the facade of the thriving private sector. The government, while acting as the benefactor in this wealth shift, has inadvertently shackled itself with staggering debt. 
The central banks, in their pursuit to keep the economy afloat, have printed vast sums of money, diluting their balance sheets. The consequence? A burgeoning debt that grows with every passing day. Dalio's apprehension is rooted in the simple yet profound understanding of debt dynamics. When the cost of interest payments rises, governments find themselves in a catch-22. To meet these demands, they are compelled to sell more debt, which only adds to the mounting pile, thus initiating a self-imposed debt spiral. His dire warning extends beyond just numbers on a spreadsheet. Dalio likens the situation to a classic late big cycle debt crisis. Drawing parallels with past economic downturns, he cautions about the precarious position the U.S. government finds itself in. And while a robust private sector is a welcome sight, the question that looms large is, at what cost? Dalio's insights serve as a sentinel, urging policymakers, investors, and the public alike to be vigilant. In the intricate web of finance, the debt spiral stands as a testament to the challenges that lie ahead and the tough decisions that must inevitably be made. In the expansive arena of global finance, murmurs often turn into roars and subtle shifts can precipitate seismic changes. Dalio's perspective on the great wealth transfer and the looming debt spiral have not gone unnoticed and their reverberations are being felt far and wide. Every theory, especially one stemming from a mind as influential as Dalio's, sends ripples through the global financial community. Investors, ever keen on foresight, are recalibrating strategies, grappling with the possible implications of a debt-heavy government versus a flourishing private sector. How does one navigate an environment where the protector, the government, is potentially the one in peril? Banks and financial institutions are also in a tizzy. With the potential of government debt becoming a riskier asset, the foundational bedrock of many portfolios is under scrutiny. Lending strategies, interest rate predictions, and even basic savings accounts could all see shifts as banks attempt to mitigate potential fallout. Economists, on the other hand, find themselves at a crossroads. While some view Dalio's predictions with a dose of skepticism, attributing them to cyclical economic patterns, others see them as a clarion call for restructuring and reform. Debates and symposiums are rife, with Dalio's insights serving as the epicenter of discussions. And let's not forget the everyday individual, the homeowner, the retiree, the young professional. News of a potential debt spiral raises anxieties about mortgages, pensions, and future financial stability. It serves as a reminder that the vast, often intangible world of macroeconomics invariably trickles down to impact personal pocketbooks.